Hey guys, Oni Gamer here. It's just my makeup here. Just one double check. Hey guys, Oni Gamer here. Welcome back to Hello Charlotte. This might be the finale. Save. Fifteen. We all know what's gonna happen, but we do know that uh, Skull is pretty much about to die. It's locked. Wait, is Skull moving fast? Is she moving faster? What? He isn't here. Oh. Oh, Miss Isler. Annette, what are you doing here? Henry's orders. W where's Mr. Honker? Who's in the body bag? Oh, he's... Oh, he's dead, isn't he? Don't tell me. Miss Isler, like I said, I'm under Henry's order. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. This can't be real. Why? Bennett grasped my hand. Let go! You monster! Where are you taking me? Stop struggling. We're going to the elevators. You'll leave this place and never come back. We're not your friends. We're not your normal lackeys. Felix Honker was a failed experiment. That's all there was to it. Don't you feel the size of Morris? You could have saved him. Well, Morris, could be saved. Say, Eiler, just what do you know about me? Henry forces me into the elevator, slams the eleventh floor button. Doors closed behind him. There's an unreal expression on his face. Okay, so he's dead. Well, yep, Felix, you were always the cool guy. Destination reached. Damn. We never read. Scott never got to. Data transmission successful. Q84. Charlotte, Q. Unit Q84, how are you feeling? I feel like shit. Welcome back. It's been a while. I get up in an instant. What the hell, Charles? Why am I alive again? I don't really understand it myself. My soul data didn't get deleted. It might have something to do with your wish. But it was you who brought me back, wasn't it? I don't want to change the ex change in my voice pitch. Something isn't right. Oh, God. Whose vessel is it now? Don't tell me it's Vincent's. It's not. It's a defective Charlotte vessel. Fuck! Can you just let me rest already? Why do you keep doing things like this? Please calm down. Calm down, calm down. I want to die. God, I want to die. I don't want any more of this. I hate this place. I hate everyone hate you the most. I don't want any more stories. I don't want my mouse to fuck up the, vi the thing. Fuck. I may have to fix that. In anything. I don't want to deal with any more world conspiracies. I just want to leave. I just... Don't want to be in this fucking body for fuck's sake! Please kill me, Miss Wilshine. A body's more than a mere vessel. Oh, a body's a mere vessel. I can't read. Don't give me that shit. Well, you're right, but I still blame you for everything. I understand. I'll put you to rest as soon as it's all over. However, for now, I need you to come with me. What? Wait, why? You understand when we get there? Can't you? Deal with this on your own, wherever it is? I can't. I already did what I could. Ah, oh, so you only brought me back for emotional support. Believe me, my course wouldn't have offered you a better therapy session than I ever will. Is it that bad? Might as well beat. You really are a loser, God. Too hu human to be one. I suppose I really am. Where are we going? Wait, anyways, we're on the level th floor. The room we need to visit is a few steps away. Great, I was considering... Refusing to move and making you drag me there with your noodle arms. I'm perfectly capable of carrying you, Wilshine. Don't even think about it. So with Charlotte now? What's going on? And Charles is saying it's like his... By the way, what happened to your Vincent? I left him alone for a while I came back to a corpse. He killed himself? That's what they always do. Even though I went through the trouble implementing no self-harm rule... Talk about waste effort. Let's bury him later, okay? Hmm. I have a feeling that it's gonna be Mother's room. Let's not go. Oh, it's not Mother's room. This is the place. Gotta say, stop hiding the tension, will you? Your anxiety, it's contagious. It's a dad's room, right? Just open it already. Alright, here goes. Deep breath then. Went Father's room. It's quite empty. No furniture, no personal possessions, or anything. Except who in there is? Working TV set. 
We gonna go back to Scarlet? I can't see anything. Uh, what was that sound? Somebody there? It's just me and you. The end of Puppeteer, of course. What's right? Bingo! Hi there, V19. At your service. Ah! That sound again. Take it long enough. Been having fun going on adventures with friends? They're not my friends. Yeah, sure. Because Scarlet Island doesn't have friends. Because Scarlet Island is so serious. Snore. Stop mocking me. Come out of hiding already. Why am I so eager? You know why you're running around. I learned the truth of this world. I don't know what those are, Clasper. Stop messing with me. Where are you? No fun. But how about I tell you anyway? Bam! Lights on! Ooh, what in the world is this? Why is mother? Our beloved mommy. The one and true God controlling everything in the house. The one who gave birth to you. Must I knew. No, you know, mother is kind, beautiful, and understanding. This thing isn't even human. Oh, you don't you know? Creators aren't human. All the content comes out of their rear hole. Easy as poop. This is ridiculous. Where are you getting at with this? I'm asylum, you're so impatient. The grand groundbreaking truth of the house is that no one here needs to be saved. This world is just an entertainment ar arena. Mother generates scenarios and provides a constant supply of protagonists. When one dies, all she has to do is spawn more Charlottes to amuse the spectators. Twon each 20th one is defective. You think you'll be saving someone? But they'll all be actors on this tiny stage. Everyone gets assigned a role to play. And you're no different. Yeah, right. I said, if I believe you, this is nonsense. Come here. You'll get what's coming to you for every person you've hurt. Oh, yes. We're both bleed for entertainment, and everyone shall be watching. Want to be the hero? Sure, I can arrange that for you. Mother has bestowed you with a just the right personality to meet the genre requirements. Stay. Hey, stop babbling nonsense. I won't fall for your pervert. Provocation. Right, right. Look, I'm coming for you. Okay, my blood boils as you poison. <sighs> Something isn't right. Why do you feel so angry? We're supposed to talk. Yet, why am I. I don't know the reason behind her tears. I want to gouge. Oh. I want to understand her. I want to tear a spine. Okay. Oracle, you need a chill out. <laughs> I'll leave full and tackle down. Why is this you resisting? That's what I do it! Shut up! Come on! What are you waiting for? Why aren't you resisting? At this rate, I'm going to kill you. You just gotta either do it already. Always remember. There's not just one person behind the screen. There's thousands. What do you mean? Let me enlighten you. In the world behind the screen, billions exist. That's what pub tears are. It's a game for them. They don't care about who you are. They don't care about our pierces and whether or not you're good or evil. Bonus points for... We're not gonna touch on that. I might censor that. I'm actually am gonna censor that. Shut your indecent mouth. It's accepted. It's the truth. You're a monster, a demon. I know, for sure. Oh please. I'm just another puppet, one of many. The silence shot, the squeeze shot, the bully shot, and choose your flavor. You like for a perfect shipping scenario. Abuse to create an emotional response from the audience. Did you know? Entertainment is dead. It's just one circle jerk between consumers and producers. The audience wants it raw. Pour your soul into it, more pain, more suffering. Perform, perform until you break. Become relatable to the uh, max. Say, Oliver, we're not so different, aren't we? He said, you aren't the protagonist. But that can be overlooked, right? Don't lump me together with the likes of you. Had things turned out differently, we could have been friends, you know? No way in hell. I tied my grip on her throat. She's not resisting. It's like I said, so you understand. You'll be the one crying I want to be loved. I'm trying so hard, but the world's just unfair. And mother's voice in your head won't stop ringing until you lose your self sense of self. Shut up! I've been killed over and over and humiliated for entertainment. But I've been a good girl because in order to be loved, I'm not allowed to make mistakes. My head hurts. Why does this particular phrase hurt so much? I'm not supposed to care yet my tight ch tightens. My chest tightens. As if as if it's from promotion. When I open my eyes again, John Wistine has long since got moved. Oh, no way. So easily? 
he really is dead. Serves you right, monster. <laughs> what the hell? This doesn't feel right at all. I feel like I'm waking from a long sleep. Something isn't right. <laughs> well, here you are, lamenting your moral enemy. But it's too late. You bent your dead classmates. Aren't you happy? I just wanted to understand you. <laughs> sure, but she said now. I. It's okay. I can make everything right. I can do it. Do what? I'll take her place. Find out the truth. Oracle. I have a wish to make. This is the only logical conclusion. This is what everything was leading up to. I'll use Oracle's power to transfer my consciousness to one of these vessels. If it's really as she said, if there really are thousands of eyes watching in my every step. Oh no, I'm terrified. I mustn't falter. I can do it. I'll make a better timeline. I will not become a murderer like her. I'll, provi I'll prove her wrong. I'll prove that free will exists. Even if I break my mm, mind shatters, and my mind shatters, this is the only way to find the truth. Even if I forget what I was looking for, this is the only way I can atone for what I've done. Don't want to notice a thing. What? Then it occurs to me. Maybe this was Wilshine's plan all along. Maybe it was her wish for me to take to follow in her footsteps. That maybe I was fated to become her from the very start. This is how her story ends. <laughs> well, 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 what shall it? Should we choose? <laughs> it's a going grocery store. Let's see. Oh, this vessel will do. My well met its end a long time ago. He may have said. It would cease to exist and disappear without a single trace. The gods they believed in died and chances were put on the grave. The chaos turned into order and it became quiet. Not like it was a dream. But I'm so tired. Would you be so kind to join me in dream scene? Is this episode two? What? What? This is episode one! What? It's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. What? What? She's gonna switch to what? That's what happened. You all know it, don't you? Oh. So episode three is a prequel. Oh my God, Scully was. Would you like to save your pro? Do I have a choice? Scarlet Isla becomes Charlotte Wilshine. She used to be a cold calculating, but ended up becoming omniscient and clueless as her mind crumbled under the influence of Mother's voice. Carefully observed her from afar and gave her a yellow ribbon to differentiate her from the other Charlottes. I helped her when she was trapped in the TV world. I hope you kill Wilshine again, I told her. That phrase seemed to trigger her memories. She remembered who she really was and it horrified her. She understood that she failed to prove V19 wrong. Which in turn made her suicidal. Scott Isla's story should have ended after she was to save the Oracle. It should have ended. But the Oracle intervened. They created a channel. We can. A world of Scott Isla's soul data. You're familiar with the concept by now, aren't you? Scott Isla couldn't believe that the tenants were real, so imaginary they became. She was obsessed with the trial, so it manifested in her world. In my dream, I am the world, huh? How stupid. Why did you go there anyway? I wanted to see for myself what, it, what her inner world is like. And you ended up getting humiliated, beaten up, and almost raped by inhabitants? Congrats. Not only that, you took cosplay to a whole new level again by Vence's vessel. Still, my joint was fruitful. I was afraid of facing her for so long, but when we might finally meet again, she didn't have the memories to, of the past anymore. I tried to trigger them so many times she had no recollection of the past events. She, she didn't even recognize the excerpt from one of my stories that she used to criticize. She was kind, lost, clumsy, easily fooled, delusional. I can, hurt other, I can hurt this time around, I thought, but when I fell, she helped me get back on my feet. It's kind of either would have kicked me until I was conscious. Unconscious. When I got hurt, she turned to my room. Scott, I would have hurt me more. I cried. She reached out and wiped my way my tears. Scott, I would have shouted at me. She changed. So I couldn't hurt her. No, I could help her. Frankly, she couldn't pass the trial herself. Okay, I get it. But there's one thing I don't understand. 
If you were using Vincent's vessel the whole time, then who was the other you? That's... Hello there. So why the surprise face this? Isn't obvious who I am. I am so... What? Wait, no! No, I'm Seth! No, no, I am Seth, motherfucker! Your father! You're the Umbrella Man! Don't pull that shit! I'm Seth, the father of this dysfunctional family. That's impossible. There's only mother in the house. Oh, really? How long do you plan on rejecting my existence? <laughs> this will shine. Be careful. This person is kind of version of my dad. He's more powerful than mother is. Easy, easy. I'm not here of you. Hi, because you never cared. I have to. I have a deal with the puppeteer to save the child. To save Scarlet Isler, known as Shallow Warshine. As you see, this TV box is, in fact, Scarlet Isler's sole data. So cute. It's all because Shallow Unit Z191, also known as the Oracle, wanted to preserve her soul data no matter what. The child saved her, and Z191 tried to save her in return. To lead the romance of a century, it was, isn't it? However, as a result, Scott Isle sold data that was sized in this shabby TV set. To free her would mean to break this box she's trapped in. That's what it means to save her. You, you bastard. Was killing her in mother's womb not enough? She was the only one child, and after all, it's common practice. You should know better than to make a big deal of it. It was a big deal for mother. That's all that matters. We're trying. We have to help her. What's going into you, Charles? This is it the same Scott Island that drove you to suicide? It's not the same. She sacrificed herself for me now. Duh. She has a goddamn martyr complex. I forgave her, Will Shine. Imposter. Can we tra transfer her soul data into a new vessel? Well, unfortunately, no human vessel containing her at this point. Then, what could we? Whatever. I don't care about her. You didn't notice I'm not in the Scarlet High fan club. If you don't like the show, just switch the channel for all I care. I'm not sure that would be the right choice. We don't know what other channel is like. And it's not like the current channel will disappear either. Would, s would switching the channel be att an attempt to make us feel better? So what? Who cares? You seem to be struggling with the final decision. Why don't we have the puppeteers to say who you saved, the child? Okay, we're back to mortal endings. Okay. Sky blue, sky blue, all on but you. Okay, switch the channel. I see you chose to be selfish. Then you care about what's your own peace of mind. Honestly, I'm disappointed in you. You turned out worse than I hoped you would. Well, then I'm afraid our ways will part here. Until you reevaluate your choices and reload the game, that is. Well, I mean, leave soon. Charles, on the count of three. All right, press the button. Huh? What's she doing? You blind? She's seen chips, Charles. All the time. Most the channels in the house show commercials only. So it might be so different. So it's a, it's a channel where she doesn't even have a story. And hey, her story might. Be about eating chunk food. Stop, Will Shine. Stop funny. You think I find it hilarious? Let's look at her. She can't can't fake that smile. She seems happy, blissful even. Yeah. Looking at her bing, binging the food with no care in the world, I can feel the bile rise in my throat. I didn't expect anything. This is so frustrating. This can't even count as a happy ending. I, but in a fit of sudden, I switch the channel. Okay. Again. Okay, and again. And again. Charles catches my hand. Charles, we're trying to stop it! God damn it, why can't we do anything? I'm sick of feeling powerless. Why is your world like this? And don't say sorry to me. I know, I know, okay? We're both frustrated. But there's nothing we can do. Not all problems can be solved, not all things can be fixed. It's something we have to live with, no matter how much it frustrates me. I never asked to be born. It always should have been her. Yet father chose me. Him and mother were always apart at that time, yet he still chose to let me live. I, so I lived constantly trying to make up for everything mother lost. For every breakdown she had, for every time we called the ambulance, for every time she cried, nothing else mattered. And now, look at this world. Repetitive, meaningless, futile. It's a laughable on how original my stories are. <laughs> None of you deserve this. And I can't even die here. Trust me, I've tried. 
tiles. Let's leave the room. And should we? I'm sure. We'll leave this place and return to floor one. Or we built white society and have it do something worthwhile for a change. If I can't be contained in one vessel, we can use tiles, right? If you want to make a python out of them. I guess, whatever. It'll be a hell of self-attack, though. To be honest, I don't think Miss Wilshine would be happy if we save her. It, that's true. Like I said, no matter what we do, there will be no right answers. The house is essentially self-destructive. Still, it's better than watching you out of way in self-pity, loser god. So, what if former scholar now Charlotte doesn't want to get out of her little fancy box? I'm bringing her and watching the house burn as we eat monthly supply of Charles junk food in one sitting period. Wait a minute. Didn't you want me to put you to rest? I changed my mind for now. Don't make a deal out of this. I, father, I get it now. So please. And so we leave the room. Inside the room, there was a box. Inside the box, there was a channel. The channel, there was a world. The world is a girl. The girl who is the world herself. Hello, world. How are you? All right, that's. It. Aww, we are even there. Alright, so let's actually go for the canon ending, in my opinion. All this anyways is my save file. Dear friends, today we've got for a special occasion. Today we ascend. Right, Mr. C? Precisely, Miss Wilshine. Today we shall make history. Put on the helm, it's in front of you. At last, we shall become pure white. Oh. She tricked the uh, people in the white society to become vessels. Dark. Shine. Miss Wilshine. Frey? It's time for us to go. Where to? Oh! Stargazing, of course. Stargazing is alive, Frey. Just like everything the mailman said. No, everything's for the other side. Promise? Promise. Take my hand. Let's see the story together. Lead the way. So, we... So, this is, um, Scarlet... Charlotte. Oh. Oh, I can save the data. Okay, save over the fire one. Okay! Okay, that's actually... Alright, so here we're gonna save the child. So he chose to save her after all. He said before, I prepared everything for the journey. Weapon included. Pirate hammer. I... Charles, stand back. I'll do it. Wish I, you don't have to. I said I'll do it! What kind of creation am I if I can't carry your burdens? Charles quietly sits back, giving me the hammer. She should wait outside. Just to be clear, that wasn't a suggestion. I'll come back soon. Yeah, right. It's you so will, not you. I'm breathing now. So here we are. I'm going to murder the girl who has my face. Pale hands. I look at the TV. The girl with the yellow ribbon and white eyes stare back at me as if she knows I'm here. You know what's going on, Isla? Suppose I hate to admit it. He and Charles, he, he want you to be born. That's why you became your own personal person in the house. That's why all the tenants were nice to you. That's why nobody hurt you in this place. In this place, you, you're you not an unwanted child. He wanted you to exist. And I want to crush all his regrets. After all, doesn't fiction exist to free the mind? That's why I will crush you too. I swing the hammer. There would be no war. There will be no revolution. There will be no need for it. Our existence is meaningless. That's okay. There's no need for a meaning. We will not fight God. There is no need to. It won't change anything. No matter how wretched we are. No matter how broken we are. No matter how lost we are, we will hold our hand, heads high and march on. Our stories will continue. Damn. Welcome to the house. A 
Hudson. In the haunted house, there's a bottomless pit. A pit where they slumber. Above the pit, there's a sun that never sets. A black sun sucking all the light in. Wow, it really goes deep. Are you sure there's no exit? On the other side of this pit? Not even I know. No matter how many corpses I drop here, it never gets filled up. It was a good fat. It was a good vessel, wasn't it? Weren't you supposed to keep him safe? I really messed up. In the end, all I did was postpone the inevitable. No matter what, there's no way it could have helped him. There's no fixing him either. Oh, duh, you can't go around trying to fix people. There's no way of doing that anyway. I knew that somewhere, a, stu a subcon- I knew that somewhere on a subconscious level, didn't I? That's why the house is the way it is. Where- where I convinced that I could change him or anyone, they would have ended up being brainwashed and unnaturally happy versions of themselves. No one! And never once have I wished for that. However, the images of the people I knew still became distorted in this place, especially Vincent's. I was so fascinated with the idea of him that I failed to see him as a real person. That's why in the house, he's all but an empty shell, an imaginary construct. This place is no heavenly kingdom after all, now then. He's really gone, isn't he? Goodbye, Vincent. I lower him to the pit and let go. Then we heard a small thud. I mean, Vincent and Charles thrown down here. Hmm. Most shrine? Yeah? There's one more place I'd like to visit, if you don't mind. I don't have anything better to do anyways. Might as well tag along. By the way, what's that you holding? Oh, just Mr. Honker's invention. What? <laughs> no, what shrine? How oh, is it, Charles? Unit V19 believed this world to be... Made purely for entertainment. But I don't, I don't feel like that's the case with the house. During my lifetime in the true realm, I always wanted to be like the others. Yet somehow, it never worked out. No matter what I did, I was either a ghost or a burden. A kid, no one wanted to sit with. No matter how good my grades got, never expressing my opinions out loud, always going along with the flow. Constantly shape shifting and adapting my personality and traits to match others. Seeing what others want to hear, just so that they could, would want me around. Wanted to connect with others, yet pushed them away as soon as we got close. Repulsed by physical clone closeness, I drifted away from human contact further and further. Yet somehow, through art and writing, I was able to connect with others in a way that didn't feel repulsive. Miss Warhol, Vincent, I would never have been able to open up to them if it wasn't for my work, however small and significant it was. After all, all my life, I defined myself with things I could put on paper. So even here, this world subconsciously ended up relying on it. Without fiction, without appealing protagonists, no one would bother staying in the house. That's how I must have felt. I can only hope that puppeteers observing us will forgive this weakness of mine. If it was you, Miss Wilshire, you surely would have made an ending spectacular, wouldn't you? But with me, the most I could do is come in terms with the loss of my loved ones. Losing Scarlet to father's decision, losing mother to mental illness, losing Fis Vincent to, the to delusions, losing Arif to distance. There doesn't seem to be an end to my regrets, is there? Now then, back to the purpose of our visit, this room. Hello, mother. <laughs> Uh, I am here. Oh, tired, tired. I know. So the person's mother and hugs one of the appendages. You already did the best you could. You gave birth to many wonderful children. Just like you wanted, right? Everything's okay. You can rest now. Those words, he injects the contents of a syringe he's holding into the mass of organs. So I can say everything around us then it begins to crystallize. The house begins to collapse. Charles, you, you'll be the last of your kind, Q84. There will be no more stories. No more dreams. No more control. At least, we will be free of everything. No restrictions, no more fate, no more endings. Wonderful, isn't it? Mother will no longer. Uh, it's not even the first time we've seen breakdown, and yet... It's okay. It's okay, father. Your old medics 
and a long time ago, but new ones surely begin from scratch. The humanity as you knew ha has ceased to exist, only to make room for a new generation. As long as they're believers, their gods will be reborn, and churches will be built as their sanctuaries. A new day will come, and your time will start moving again. There's nothing to be sad about. Well, 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 looks like you reached the end of this story. Congratulations, pause for the winner. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? Hope you... Hope you forgive me for constantly... Your journey was exciting. Ah, what was that, I wonder? In any case, well, Charles and Charlotte... Now truly live up to the names, don't they? Right, even free. I will be saying this so shit. Having to, having seen so many timelines in this place, having so grown, I've grown out of outcomes, many timelines and outcomes. Don't you, don't you feel the same? How about you feel the same? How about you feel the same? How about you feel the same? Ah, hello. This is Bison, isn't it? I suppose it's since we haven't talked directly before. You got to spend time with all the other parts of me, but I, the core part, always ended up being the side character. I was, I gotta say, have it stay that way. But you have reached the ending of this story, and there's no one else left to say in, the, say in this world. Please bear with me for a moment. So here we are. Everyone's gone. The house is crumbled. It's only end for a self-destructive world. In the end, it was no place for us all to stay in. Now there's no mother, the walls of the house can no longer confine me. Before I leave, I want to thank you in person. I'm very certain this world isn't what you wanted or what you have here for. After all, in the end, I couldn't become Charlotte Wilshire. Or Scott Eiler. Or even a proper Vincent Woodsworth. By the way, Woodsworth is a surname I made up. It has nothing to do with the real Vincent. Especially, technically, this game doesn't pack much fun gameplay. All there is is frustration, endless screaming into the void with pent up anger. A disappointing world of a disappointing person. A game with no winners, yet. At another world where your choices don't don't matter, but you still stayed until the end. Though illusions and metaphors, fairy tales and delusions were able to have conservation, and after letting it all out, getting it out there, I was able to go with uh, my guess. Just because you listened, that's why I thank you for paying a visit to the house. Hope you enjoyed your stay, stay even a little bit. Oh, this spike! I think it's staying changed. He's grown a little bit tired. Ah, uh, but I might not be the one you want to hear a thank you from. Let's try it again. I'll turn to see, Seth. Hey, OG Charlotte! Woo! Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. The god of this world made sure I wouldn't. Uh, a lot of things happened, but I'm okay now, really. In fact, I'm really happy. Somehow, in the end, everything worked out. I made peace with myself. Hope you all okay, too. I... I always thought you didn't have responsibilities other than looking after me, but I was wrong, right? If there's something that's troubling you right now, or you don't think that you can go on anymore, please remember that a new day will come. I'm sorry I couldn't stay with you a little longer. It's time for me to move on. That's why. Thank you for taking care of me. Let's meet again someday. Oh, there's a messed up scarlet layer. I just realized. Ooh, it's going black to me. True and goodbye, Charlotte. What's gonna happen now? Am I not gonna be able to... Oh, what? Puppeteer. What? Read the afterword? Thank you for playing Hello, Charlotte. When I began this work on project, I didn't think much of it. I didn't think it had a future to begin with. But somehow, over these years, three years of the game development, things have changed for the better. I was able to come, come in terms with myself, found a place to belong. I still have to deal with a lot of things, but somehow, they become less heavy in my mind. Somehow, they don't seem hopeless anymore. 
The final game is a tribute to a certain someone who didn't get a chance to be born in this world. Someone I came to both love and hate. No one has existed anywhere somehow. In the end, Char Hello Charlotte is a personal story. In it, some events, nearly, namely deaths, were entirely metaphorical. Some were so very real. I can only hope that this story was to reflect the feelings of desperation and helplessness over losing someone, and the despair of, uh, for inability to bring them back no matter what. I have a feeling I've been living for a long time. A feeling I constantly feel and experience of experiencing in the future that's to come. If you enjoyed the final episode even a little, I'm glad. If you didn't, that's okay too. If you brought this game and if you bought this game and not pirated it, thank you for your support. Your input won't go to waste. Thank you for visiting the house. Let's meet again sometime in the future. Sincerely, Etherain. Okay, so this is the exact same thing. I wonder if there's gonna be like wait, which song is which? You're probably Q84. You might be the OG Charlotte. Alright. So, it's got either. Hello, Sh Hello Charlotte. It's protagonist is Hello Charlotte. It's about time to her best passive determination. Oka Frey 091. To God of the the God of the TV world. Hello Charlotte was like V19. The one who began it all. S special talent unknown. Passive talent unknown. Umbrella Man Charles Seth. The entertainer. Omnipotent. Omniscient. So much like Q84, I'm really protagonist. Acting. Passive snark. So it's not good. Huxley's nephew and scientist. Special talent for a grand memory. Passive skills to sarcasm. But now, dedicated worker. Special talent binge watching TVs. Passive skill. High stamina. Fluence and enthusiastic worker. Special talent engineering. Passive skill. High strength. Aiden Krampus. Oh, he his he is Krampus. He's actually Krampus. I thought that was a bit. Laura Butler, tax Mary, shapeshifting. Huxley, scientist and a doctor. Surgery using only a knife and some duct tape. Word vomit. Listen, the god of th his world. Special talent, writing. Passive skill, charm. Charles Eiler, the one with many regrets. Observation, cleaning. Helena Warhol, the one who cared. Sulcy of debt, common sense. Who are you? Oh! Etherain, the developer, glad you're here. Avoiding social interactions, hyper focus. Alright, so, um, hang on. I, I got one for me. Um, Only Gamer, the Fool. Uh, how does it go again? Special talent, a hyper. Uh, just wanting to do stuff. Passive skill. That is my passive talent. Scream. Alright, gallery. Do we have 100% in the gallery? We do. We got it all. Oh, Wait, I can zoom. Look at this sad boy. So, this has been Hello Charlotte. I'll see you guys next series. Bye-bye.